Hello and welcome to another update video about Bonk. Bonk has seen a rejection from that uh, upside Fibonacci area that we defined yesterday. Um, obviously, if you followed the previous videos, you, you know that the third wave here did extend quite a bit, but it hasn't shown us a five wave move up yet. So Bonk is still very much, let's say, at risk of breaking down because with a three wave move up, that's always a risk. We basically need five waves up for a confirmation that a, that a substantial low has formed here on Saturday the 7th or rather Friday the 6th, okay? We need we need those five waves. Only if I get these five waves, and I will take out this FIP area now, then we see it better. I need these five waves uh, in circle one to really confirm that on the 6th of September, a lasting low has formed. And then if we see these five waves, then we have a stable structure, at least a somewhat stable structure. I mean, nothing is guaranteed, right? But at the moment, this is only a three-wave rally. And, and it could easily be, you know, th this could easily be some kind of an ABC structure to the upside, um, may maybe even within the white wave count that we're dealing here with a, with a um, let's say, diagonal pattern to the downside there. And that, for example, this here was an A wave, this is a B wave, and we break down in wave C. That would be my bearish scenario. Um, this would be invalidated with a five wave move up because B waves, while they can overshoot, they can't be five waves. Okay, so that would be my um, bearish case, especially, and the white count would become more probable if we see a break below the 190650 level, the golden ratio level. But we're holding support. I mean, some coins broke support today, not massively surprising given that most of these coins are a mess. Um, Bonk is one that looks a bit better, but also only a three wave move up so far. So I need to see this four five pattern. I need to see a higher low in wave four and then one more high in wave five. And um, at the moment, even though the pullback is quite sharp, we are holding even above the 38.2 retracement. So as long as we are holding, yeah, 190650, there is no sign of a substantial top in place. And if we could get from here then a B wave bounce, which might have started now, then a C wave down, that would be pretty much in line with sort of the Bitcoin chart roughly, okay? Uh, refer to the Bitcoin video for the latest count there. But yeah, at the moment I'm still, I still give the bulls the benefit of the doubt, the yellow count. The support area has slightly shifted higher from yesterday's update. Again, not a surprise because whenever we push higher, I have to adjust support. But now it seems like a top of sorts is in place. And I have marked here the micro count for this fourth wave. Could even turn into a triangle, but there's no evidence for it. So normally when we start a correction, I will first label an ABC structure. Can always turn into something different, as I said, like a triangle or something. But for now I go with, with this uh, normal ABC structure. And yeah, it looks even as if we have an initial reaction. So it might even be that the B wave has started. Now there are some resistance level I, levels I could add to the chart. I'm just always careful with resistance for B waves. Please don't treat it as like a solid ceiling or something. It's it's literally just standard resistance um, for, for such a B wave. And resistance is 239174 to 252749 because B waves can easily also overshoot, especially in fourth waves but overall yeah the patterns haven't changed since yesterday the, it seems just like that finally finally this top that we've been watching for and it you know it has come late because this third wave did extend quite a bit but finally this top has formed and i see it for now as a corrective pullback that might easily change and the structure might morph but this is my current perspective that's the update about bonk hope you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.